Hi guys, I'm Marky again and welcome back to Revit House. Form tools. So, what are the other form tools that we can use to create or build our family? So, in the previous video, we did an extrusion to create this box. So, what are the other form tools that we can use? There are, uh, there is Blend, Revolve, Sweep, Sweep Blend, and the Voids, uh, Void Forms to create some openings or cut. So, to create the Blend, we go back to our Floor Plan Reference Level and then from the from our floor plan view we just randomly do the 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 blend or our profile blend for our uh, exercise only this will not be constraints to any reference planes but just knowing how to use the command or the tool forms so for the blend we just need to by default when you click the blend it will be the base profile or the bottom profile of your extrusion so the blend is actually like an extrusion that are that is controlled by two profile so that's why it it is called blend so for example i just have i will have some uh maybe a box on the base profile and then after that you can just edit top same same location you can also sketch your profile for example I have a circle so I will just draw a small circle here and then I'll just have finish then when we view it in 3d view there you go so that is our profile by default it will be just an extrusion at 250s but we can still drag it so then you will have this kind of profile so we'll try another one so for example i will have i will command another blend then i'll just have to use my circumscribe polygon then i'll use maybe about four sides or rather maybe six sides yep then i'll have this then i will do another polygon which is inscribe polygon then i will do a three sides polygon then I'll do a profile here there you go maybe I'll just nudge it a bit then finish nope oops sorry this is the uh, base profile so I'll have to edit top and then maybe I'll click again the polygon and then I'll do the uh, triangle here somewhere in the middle yep then finish so we'll just have to 3d view and then this we drag it so we will have another more complex shape so next is create revolve so how to use the revolve maybe we go back to our reference level so in our reference level we can just command our revolve so revolve is controlled by an axis line and a boundary line so first we need to draw our axis line by default the the selected line is the boundary line so but we need to what we need to do is the to draw first our axis line so axis line is the center or the centroid of your revolve or your axis then we can just draw a simple simple line here and then we just need to draw our boundary line so let's say for example i'm drawing a simple profile like maybe like this yeah something like that then what we just need to do is after that we just have to finish so when we view it in 3d view we'll have this something like a 
dumbbell. <laughs> so what if we need a rifle that is um, vertically upright? So what we need to do is earlier this one we draw from our floor plan which is horizontal or parallel to the uh, plan view. Then if it's uh, vertically upright we need to command the, the the revolve in our front elevation or any other elevation which is in vertical orientation so we command the revolve and then we draw the axis line then we draw our boundary line so let's say for example I will do a more complex shape some other some curves here and another curve here or maybe yep curve here yes there you go so I'll have more sexier profile there you go so Sketching or doing your model from different views will create different effect. So like what we what happened to our revolve when we sketch on plan, it is parallel to the plan view, which is horizontal. And if we command the tool from elevation, it is vertically upright. So what dictates those things or what controls uh, the orientations of your model is actually the work plane. So work plane is a virtual 2D surface but you can still see or show your work plane through our work plane tool. So you can also set your work plane or even show your work plane so that you will not know we will know that where you are working in. Is it a vertical work plane? Is it a horizontal work plane? So by default, in Revit, even in family, even in project, default work plane is always the lowest, lowest level that you have in your project or in your family. So whereas in our family, we only have one level, we, so the default work plane will be under reference level. But of course, views like elevations will have a default vertical work plane from it. So let's see what is what are the work planes that we have. So when you click the element you will see under the properties which work plane it was created. So for the horizontal level we have work plane reference level and then for the revolve that is rotated from or created from the fr front elevation its work plane is the reference plane center front back so to help us understand more about work plane let's command the window tile so view tile or wt so it's tile windows or window tile so window tile so that we can see our front elevation, our reference level, and our 3D view. In this manner, I want the 3D view to be the biggest or the m occupy the biggest part of my window. So for us to do it, we need to click the reference level and then the elevation and then click back again the reference level view. Then before we command the WT so that the first click will be the on top of the the tile window and then the second window will be on the bottom and the third window will be here so if I click from here and then click the floor plan and I command WT it the 3d view will be over uh, under the floor plan so I go back to floor elevation and then floor plan that I'll command the WT so that it will come it will show the 3d view on the more bigger side so to zoom it all, Z A. So all the views will be zoomed 
extent okay so let's see what is the work plane or what are what are the work plane available for our uh, family so under create we can click our show work plane so I'll just skip this one first cancel then same thing with the 3d view I'll show the work plane and the elevation view I'll show the work plane so you can see from here that the plan view and the 3d view has the same work plane which is the reference level so we can see from set work plane you can see that this is based on the reference level and from from the floor plan view will be the uh, reference level as well and for the elevation it will be the center front back so you can see from the 3d view if I click the the work plane here it will show me that this is my work plane that's why we created this we can create the vertically upright revolve so that is a work plane so work plane is where you actual uh, it's a 2d surface where you can sketch with so for example in a 3d view I want to model a revolve that is vertical so we maximize our view so for me to be able to model without going to elevation and for me to be able to model in the 3d view with the revolve tool I can create then command the revolve then set the work plane before sketching so when I set my work plane I will choose my center left right or center front back so you can see from here there is there are other work plane as well which are the work plane or reference plane that we created for our family box so that's why it is important to name your work plane so that rather your reference plane so that you can use it as a reference for or as a work plane for your family or for your model so I'll select the center front back and then click OK so as you can see here I can now draw my axis line vertically upright and then I'll draw my boundary line say I'll just draw some simple shape here there you go so from the 3d view itself we can set a work plane without changing the work plane that is really already default from it so when we command the, the, the revolve we set it and then you will have your work plane which is a vertical work plane so if you like the content of this lecture series please click the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button for more of this lecture series talk to you soon